In this video, I will show you how to solve for unknown values when you've got similar triangles going on. The first step is to match up the corresponding sides. Never just assume which sides you think are corresponding. Use the similarity statement. For example, I see that we have x plus 3 right here. That is side NL. So here's N and here's L. That's the beginning and the end. So that will correspond with AD. So here's AD. So that means these match up as corresponding sides. So in the same way, uh, I see that 8 is LT. So here's LT right here at the beginning. That's going to correspond with AE, which is 14. So now we've matched up these corresponding sides. Now, label one of the triangles as new and one of them as old. It really doesn't matter which is which. The point is to be able to always set up your proportion, your equation, in the form new over old equals new over old. If you do this, then all of the numbers will be in the right place. So let's start with the yellows. New over old will be x plus 3 over 3x minus 16. Okay, now the blues. New over old will be 8 over 14. Let's do three more. It's usually a good idea to reduce this fraction just to make the numbers a little bit smaller. So I'm going to do that for this particular problem. So if we divide both of these by 2, that's going to become 4 over 7. So that's going to give us x plus 3 over 3x minus 16 is equal to 4 over 7. So now it's time to cross multiply. So uh, we're going to multiply along this diagonal. Remember, we have to do the distributive property. So I'm going to take this 7, and I'm going to multiply it by the x, and I'm going to multiply it by the 3. So that's going to give me 7x plus 21. All right, now the other diagonal is this. And again, I need to do the distributive property. I'm going to take this 4, and I'm going to multiply it by 3x, and I will multiply it by 16. All right, so um, uh, 4 times 3x is going to be 12x. And then 4 times 16 is... So that's 64. All right, uh, I think I will subtract 7x from both sides. So that's going to give me 21 is equal to 5x minus 64. Now we add 64 to both sides. So that's going to give me 85. All right, so finally we divide both sides by 5. And the answer is 17. All right, is that the final answer? Yeah, we were just supposed to solve for x. So that's it. More problems. OK, this one will be extra fun because we have these overlapping triangles. My very strong suggestion to you is whenever you have overlapping triangles, you should redraw them separately. So for example, um, here I'm tracing this smaller triangle. And then I'm just going to slide that off to the side. And now I'm going to trace the larger triangle.
All right, let's slide that over to the side. Okay, time to label stuff. So um, the smaller triangle is a uh, triangle E uh, G H. All right, the larger triangle is triangle E D F. Okay, now let's label the sides. Looking at the smaller triangle, I see we have the 18, um, that is side GE, and the 24 is side EH. Okay, um, now be careful with the larger triangle. Look at side DE. Side DE is this whole thing, and do you see how they have that labeled uh, as X plus 11 is the whole thing? So um, this side is X plus 11. Now, what about side EF? Side EF is made up of these two smaller parts, the 24 and the 8. So we have to add those together to get the length of side EF. Um, so that's going to be 32. All right, now we can do the rest of the problem as normal, being careful to match up our corresponding sides. For example, this 24 is EH. So here's EH. That corresponds with EF, and here's EF. Okay, similarly, this 18 is side GE. Um, hold on, I should have erased these marks. GE, I say. So here's GE, that's going to correspond with DE, which is right here. So those are the corresponding sides. Let's go ahead and label one triangle as new, and the other one is old. Doesn't matter which one is which. Um, all things being equal, I usually call the, the new triangle, I'll pick the one that has the X. So uh, let's do the yellows first. And remember, we're just going to set this up in the form new over old equals new over old. Okay, so that'll be X plus 11 over 18. equals uh, now new over old with the blues will be 32 over 24. Okay, now we cross multiply. So if we do the down diagonal, uh, we have to do the distributive property here. So I'm going to take this 24, um, but I'm going to multiply it by the x, and I'm also going to multiply it by the 11. So that is going to give me 24x plus 264. All right, now I'm going to multiply the up diagonal, and that will give me the other side of the equation. Five hundred and seventy six. All right, easy peasy. So let's subtract two hundred and sixty four from both sides. All right, that is three hundred twelve. And then let's divide both sides by 24. Thirteen. All right, so that is how you do a problem like this. Again, if you have the triangles overlapping, just draw them separately.
All right, let's do two more problems. Be careful on this one. This is one of those that has an extra step to it. We're not just finding x. Um, then they want us to find jl afterwards. OK, so let's start by matching up the corresponding sides. I see the x plus 18. That is jl. OK, jl is the beginning and the end. So that's going to correspond with xz. Oh, OK, xz is right here. Those are corresponding sides. All right, how about this 26? That's HJ. Here's HJ. That's going to correspond with YX. And YX is right here, so these are corresponding sides. All right, um, I'm going to call this one new, and I'm going to call this one old. It doesn't matter which is which, but you're going to have um, one is new and one is old, so set up your equation in the form new over old is equal to new over old. Okay, so let's start with the yellows. New over old would be x plus 18 over uh, 2x plus 3. Now the blues, new over old will be 26 over 30. Time to cross multiply. All right, look at the down diagonal. Don't forget that you're doing the distributive property. So we are going to multiply the 30 times the x and the 18. So that will give us 30x plus... 540. Now it is time for the up diagonal. And again, with the distributive property, we're going to take this 26 and we're going to multiply it by the 2x and the 3. So that's going to give us a 52x plus um, 78. All right, let's get these x's together by subtracting 30x from both sides. OK, so that's going to be 22x plus 78, and then subtract that 78 from both sides. Four hundred sixty-two. Now we need to divide both sides by 22. So x is equal to 21. Now, remember, this is not the final answer this time because we're supposed to plug it in and find jl. Okay, jl is right here. jl is x plus 18. All right, but now we know that x is 21. So that means that jl is 21 plus 18. So we know that jl is 39. And that is the final answer. All right, last one. Let's match up our corresponding sides. So x plus 6 over here, that's mn. Here's mn. That's going to correspond with B, 
C. And here's BC right here, so those are corresponding sides. All right, this 36, that's NP. That corresponds with CA. So that matches up with the 28. Now let's um, label one triangle as new and we'll label the other triangle as old. It doesn't matter which one is which, as long as you set up your equation in the form new over old equals new over old, you're gonna be all good. Let's start with the yellows. New over old will be x plus four over x plus six. Now for the blues, new over old will be 28 over 36. Time to cross multiply. Let's do the down diagonal. And we are doing the distributive property. We're taking this 36 and we're multiplying it by the x and the 4. So that's going to give us 36x plus 144. Now the up diagonal. And again, we need to do the distributive property. So we're going to take this 28 and we're going to multiply it by the x and we're going to multiply it by the 6. So that'll be 28x plus 168. Now let's get these x's together by subtracting 28x from both sides. So that's going to give me 8x plus 144 is equal to 168. So of course, then we will subtract 144 from both sides. So that's going to give us 8x is equal to um, 24. And finally, we will divide both sides by 8. And we get x is equal to 3.